Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to take a look at the USS Edmonton. There's quite an interesting backstory for this ship. It's known as an Alberta class and it was the only one of its type. Sadly, it was destroyed during the Dominion War as part of the Seventh Fleet. The ship is armed with photon torpedoes and has a rather impressive phaser array. The phaser array is as powerful as a galaxy class's. I want to see how it will do against the USS Berkeley. The Berkeley is a weapon pod variant of the Nebula class. The Edmonton is able to fire five photon torpedoes from the front and the aft. It has that powerful phaser array and I'm hoping it's slightly more maneuverable than the Nebula class. Let's see what happens. Okay, so distance is going to be our friend here, without a doubt. I don't want to get too close to that Nebula class. I'm going to try using the phasers as much as possible. It's an interesting looking ship. It screams Excelsior class to me. Just slightly modified. Okay, we're outside of their engagement range. That's interesting. Their forward shield is draining. It is. Actually get away from them and fire. That's interesting. Oh, the torpedo's missed. Yeah, we've got far superior speed, I think. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm actually trying to disable their torpedo launchers, as that's kind of their main thing. I'm not bothered about their phaser array at all. Getting a little bit too close here. So, photon torpedoes, of course. So both ships seem pretty resistant to photons, but they will be, won't they? I really like how it's got dual phases at the back like that. That's such a neat feature. It looks like I'm overtaxing the power though. Look at that. Ooh. Decisions, decisions. Targeting the subsystems is proving a bit tricky though. I can't get to that shield generator. Shield is draining, sir. Our shields are holding, amazingly. We've got no hull damage. That's incredible. They're starting to take system damage. Oh no. We have zero hull damage still. This is amazing. Hull integrity at 50%. Our ventral shields are draining, sir. I'm almost wondering if we're able to fire more torpedoes than them. Oh no, they can fire more. They're not showing me their weak side. No, they're not. I've got one torpedo left. Oh no! I was not keeping an eye on that. I thought I was in Voyager. One more torpedo ought to do it. We've got zero torpedoes left. Uh oh. So yeah, the Edmonton has a rather interesting history. It was actually created from the hulls of a different ship. I'm really interested though to see how this goes the other way around. Ooh. Oh, okay. Must have hit the warp core. Victory. Okay, here we go in the mighty Nebula class. Will we get a different result? I'm not sure. Well, that's interesting. I want to try and keep my distance here, but... 
I want to make sure every torpedo hits. We are carrying 434 photon torpedoes, so I suppose if the computer uses them all, the Edmonton, um, then we can just laugh at them. Okay, so we've got major damage to our aft shield already. Interesting. Oh, crikey! So, looking at this, it's either the Edmonton's weapons are more powerful, or our shields are weaker. The Edmonton is putting up a really good fight here. I don't want to waste torpedoes. Oh, mind you, we've got 400 of them. And we're taking some serious hull damage here. My aft shield has gone, so keeping a distance is going to be tricky now. Ah, here we go. Oh my goodness, what? Right, I'm going to assume at this point that that ship has some sort of ablative armor because that's absolutely ridiculous. It just took six torpedo, oh no, a few torpedo blasts of a sensor array and it was pretty much unshielded. Right, we've got their sensors. Whew. Sir, their sensor system has been destroyed. Target disabled. Sir, that's the last of them. They surrender. They we're in the clear. I've been playing British Commander Remastered for a very long time and I've never ever seen that happen. Well, I guess the game knew that with the sensors gone it was game over. There is absolutely no way we could have won that fight without disabling the sensors. The Edmonton was too strong. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe. Bye for now.